Hey everyone, welcome back to Kona Qualified, where every week I speak about relative to life topics with a goal of making us better together. This week's message is, take responsibility for your actions and your life. Let's rock and roll. Alright man, so, taking responsibility for your actions and for your life. Gosh, it seems like, I man, seem like, it feels like I say this every week, but it seems like in our society today though, that people just want to just brush off responsibility to anyone else besides themselves right you mean all like well you know, they live they, they live in this neighborhood and their life turned out this way so oh i'm gonna blame responsibility on my parents for this happening or my teacher said this to me so i didn't do this or this happened to me or whatever i didn't do that you know what grow up you know take responsibility for your life take responsibility for your actions take responsibility for your future you know what i mean you can play the blame game all you want in your life you know you can say that you're not somewhere because of something or some event or someone that happened in your life which hey i'm not discrediting that at all i'm not saying that what happened in your past did not affect you in a positive way or in a negative way hopefully in a positive way that you moved forward and actually made your life magnificent in spite of what happened to you but if it's in the, if it's the other if it's the flip side to that where what happened to you has negatively affected your life and therefore you believe you have this belief that you therefore cannot make anything of your life that you're just a you know result of your past experiences I'm sorry but I'm here to tell you today that that is completely false that is a lie that you believe and that you bought into and that you need to start taking responsibility for what for your life today now you might now I'm not like I said I'm not discrediting what happened to you in the past you know there's been people that have come come and gone on this on this planet that have had terrible things happen to them but have still managed to rise above you know my last video I think a couple of videos ago I did this one video on your past does not equal your future you know and I brought up Oprah Oprah Winfrey right and she was molested as a as a young kid by family members of hers and by friends of hers and she had a young kid before I think it was a girl or boy I forget which one obviously it's one or the other duh but uh she had a young kid at the age of 14 and that child actually died now that past experience being molested by your family and having a kid at the age of 14 and that child dying could have easily affected her in a negative way and she could have not become the woman the amazing woman that she is today however she did not buy into that lie she did not buy into that you know event that happened to her life to affect her in a negative way she looked for the good and she found a positive aspect in which to change her life's trajectory and to go a hundred percent different to where it could have been so I'm here to tell you today guys you are responsible for your life you know what the things that you've done in your life today you know it, you know that past experience whatever it is doesn't matter it's what you choose to do today it's how you choose to respond to that adversity it's how you choose to respond to those life events it's how you choose to react to it you know I mean you put you know, there's a there's a story of uh, there's two kids right and what they put one what they put one kid in a, in a they put both both the kids in two rooms and uh, one kid was in a room with a bunch of horse manure. The other kid was in the same room, was in a different room with a bunch of horse manure as well, right? And they, they put these kids in there and they, you know, they come back about a couple hours later. One kid is in the room with a manure. So they find him in there. He's just crying, just crying uncontrollably. And they talked they, they to him like, wait, man, what's, what's the deal? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? And then he goes... Man, what, 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 why am I not? Why wouldn't I be crying? You put me in a whole, uh, you know, room full of manure. Nothing good ever happens to me. And then they go to the next kid, right? And the next kid in that room is just getting the manure, and just throwing it everywhere, just like tossing it everywhere. And they're like, "Come in there! What are you doing?" And he goes, "With all this manure in here, there's about to be a pony in here somewhere, you know." So. It's all about your perspective. It's how you choose to respond to the situation that to the hand that you've been dealt. You know, I'm sure you've heard that saying. It's not the cards that you were play. It's not the card that you were played. It's the how it's your response to the hand that you've been dealt. You know, how you play the card, play the cards you've been dealt. I should say, but it's just how you choose to respond to the situation, guys. And I just want to encourage you. If you've had a bad past, if you've had negative things that have happened to you, I'm sorry for what has happened to you, but. Learn to take responsibility for your actions today. Learn to take responsibility for who you are today. And ask yourself, do I want to be the kind of person that other people would want to emulate? Do I want to be the kind of man or woman that I want my children to emulate? Or I want my parents to be proud of? Or I want my future wife or husband to be proud of? You know, be attracted to, you know? Do I want to be the kind of person that positively impacts the world? Do I want to be the kind of person that is remembered in a positive light? Which I'm sure you do. Deep down inside, I'm sure you do. But you have to realize that if you're allowing those past influences, those past experiences that, that someone or something did to you, and you're allowing that to hold you back, you got to take responsibility for your actions, guys. you got to realize that that might have happened to you, and yeah, it was bad. 
but you need to be liberated in spite of that and use that as a as a testimony I think I said that in the past you know Zionic Weird Future video use that as a testimony to what you what you're able to accomplish in spite of that stuff you know but it has to start by you taking responsibility and say you know what hey life is my own dang fault you know it's my own fault whether or not I choose to go and be successful in spite of this atrocity that happened to me or I choose to become the victim and not to be successful because of this atrocity you know so I just encourage you take responsibility for your actions if something that's ha bad has happened to you in the past that very well might be might be the case but it does not have to equal your future you know so take responsibility for your actions learn from the past learn from your mistakes learn from your failures but go out and make your life magnificent. So hope this video finds you well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that encouraged you. If you did, please share this video out and like the video as well. Subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. There's so many, there's videos that come out every week, like I said, with the goal of making us better together. Thank you so much again for watching. Please follow me on Instagram at Kona Qualified and look forward to seeing you next week. Have an amazing day. See ya.